art nerds, I have an absolutely massive haul of art supplies and goodies from my recent trip to Japan, and I just can't wait to share all of this with you guys. So keep watching. First up, I have the watercolors that I purchased while in Japan. I have the Turner Artist watercolors. Since they're a little bit cheaper in Japan than they are in the U.S., I picked up some beautiful color watercolor paint set watercolors from Daiso that I look forward to showing you guys. I picked up some Holbein colors and also some, let me see if I can get to focus, Kusakabi watercolors. I know people are excited about these and they're getting a lot of attention. You can get them from Amazon. I picked mine up at Sakaido, I believe. Holbein opaque watercolor half or they look they're bigger than half pans but they're smaller than whole pants I've had my eyes on these for a while some not Kuretake Gansai Tambi Gansai Tambi watercolors I'm not sure who makes them but I picked them up from Tokyo Hands and finally something we don't have in the U.S. Dr. P.H. Martin's pigment these are pigment based opaque watercolors and I'm excited to play around with these. And I feel like I picked up more watercolors than this, but this is what I could find when unpacking. So if there are more, stay tuned to check those out soon. Next up, I have some water based slash watercolor markers. I finally, I've been promising for a long time and I like the price and I like that they were sold in individual sets. I finally picked up some Akashi Asai water base markers. I reviewed these years ago, didn't like them and rehomed them, but my technique and my ability have improved since them. then and I'm willing to give them a strong second chance. I also picked up some clean color FB water base markers as well as some clean color real brush markers. You guys know I love the real brush markers. Two of the FB blender pins clean color real brush doesn't have blender pen so I'm excited to play with these and then some Marvy artist brush pens these are also water based so all of these are water based brush tip markers that I am excited to play with I already own a pretty sizable alcohol marker collection from years of reviewing alcohol markers so you guys should know that when I saw some brands I wasn't entirely familiar with I had to splurge. But first, I picked up some Copic colors that I already don't that I don't already own in pinks, light and light orange. I also picked up additional Neopico color uh, skin tones that I was missing, so now I can do a nice review of these. And then I picked up these Maxon Comic Twin Markers. These are alcohol markers. They're double-sided and I've never seen them in the States. As well as these color markers. These are pigment-based and I got them in gray tones because I thought that I could make them stretch a little bit further. So look forward to my Neopico Color and Maxon Color Twin reviews as well as a look at the Color Master pigment markers. I have to admit, I lost my mind just a little bit when it came to the Frickson stuff. I've never been a huge fan of it, possibly because the selection in the States is really limited. So when I saw all these different colors and types, I just about lost my mind. I picked up, I believe, these are like highlighters. And these are like mild liners. I picked up an additional color there. I also picked up a Frickson multi pin. And then these are supposed to go into a multi pin. They can be used as individual pins though. And I never found the multi pin designed for these refills, so I picked up a few of these, as well as a few standalone Frickson pins and a Frickson stamp and they actually have a wide variety of Frickson stamps in Japan so if you think this seems cute or nifty if you're into like um, bullet journaling scrapbook journaling you know visual journaling these stamps and these Frickson pins might be a great idea for you and your needs of course I had to stock up on brush pins ballpoint pens and mechanical pencils while I was there. I got quite a variety and even one lone fountain pen, a Kakuno. 
Um, for those of you who are familiar with my blog, you'll know that I kind of got my start reviewing art supplies by reviewing loads of Fude and brush pins. So I'm excited to kind of resume that mantle and discover some more favorites. I also picked up some of the high tech C's. I use these a lot in grad school and they've become a lot more popular. So I also picked up some of the fancy ones, the Mica Mica to see if they differ from the high tech C's. They're sort of like the upgraded version. I picked up a couple of Copic brush pins, Copic small, Copic medium, as well as a large lead holder, some refill leads, and loads of mechanical pencils, including these purse size ones. This pilot one seems super sturdy. I'm really excited about that. The Muji one is less stable or less sturdy, but it still seems really nice. And it's always handy to have mechanical pencils to leave in your purse for sketching on the go. I also picked up a bunch of brush pins from Daiso, and I'm gonna do kind of a Daiso challenge. For those of you who aren't familiar with Daiso, you are really missing out. Daiso is the Japanese equivalent of the dollar store. It's usually like 150 yen, unless marked otherwise, and you can find all kinds of cute goodies there from socks to stationery. I know you guys might not be 110% excited about white correctional ink, but I totally am. And Kuratake has finally released my grail, a white brush pen. You guys, I have searched for years. I've tried the Posca brush pen and didn't care for it for what I was using it for. I tried making my own to no avail. I know I can just dip uh, a brush in, you know, white ink uh, like this, but they made it convenient, they made it portable, and I really hope it works. I also picked up a couple more white ballpoint pens, Uni or Uni Whiteia. They make the Uni signal that I love so much. And look, it's a click top for corrections. And I also picked up a white Pilot Juice to see how this handles, as well as Deleter White number two and Lion Misnon. And I got these both at the Kyoto Manga Museum. So I thought, surely, because the exhibition there had a, had a lot of like white correction done as highlights and to add interest. So I thought, surely this will work. I also picked up some brush pins from Daiso. I want to see if they handle as well as your traditional, more expensive brush pins. Some Uni Unicolor mechanical pencils. I've used Uni Unicolor uh, lead for a while and switched off because they quit making it in point seven. But look, they have it in point seven again. A different type of kneaded eraser and some mild liners. I love highlighters. I use them to help organize and schedule and the mild liners are in really, really cute colors and can be fun for little spot illustrations. Correction, I lied. These are not mild liners. These are Daiso's mild liners. I have here a rather motley crew. I've got Kurtaki Gold's uh, Sumi Ink. I've wanted to try this for a while. It tends to be more expensive in the States, but it is much cheaper in Japan. And I bought this from a really cool traditional art supply store in Osaka. I wish I had footage from that, but it was so tiny. I felt really just, I felt it wasn't appropriate to take video in there or take photos. I picked up Sailor Shikori in Sakura Mori. Getting Sailor fountain pen ink, Sailor products in the U.S. can be kind of hard. So I definitely wanted to pick this up, give it a try, and I love the color. I picked up some interesting washi tape dots. This neat Kuretake highlighter, this is as an interesting story. So in Atoya in Tokyo at the Shibuya station, there was a woman set up doing demonstrations for Kuretake where you got to pick the body, the ink color, and the back, and she would soak the felt in the ink color of your choice and then once it had soaked you could select your barrel pick the cute stars the ink cap I picked the hot pink and then you use what looked like a button press to kind of press it all together and to make your marker so I picked a larger nib so a larger brush in blue also got some really cute cat washi tape just love that little bobtail one of the pigment liners, I reviewed the black one a while back, 
by Akashia Sai, the thin line. These are pigment based, so they're going to be waterproof and they may even be alcohol marker proof. And I picked it in this lovely green color. A pencil extender, because I like to use the nubbins of my pencils. I picked up two packs of these uh, pencil grips. I've used these for a while. I used to find them in San Francisco when I would go for shows and I love them. I have one on my stylus. I have one on my favorite drafting pencil. These are great and they're hard to find in the US. I find it's difficult to find good pencil grips anyway. An inking stone from Daiso and then two inking um, Sumi brushes. This one sort of looks like the Boku Undo Mento brushes I have. I wanted something small enough that I could ink or paint with them. While in Japan, I picked up so many paper products. I picked up a variety of signboards, including this really cute decorative Sakura sideboard that says, message for you. May your future life be fortunate. It is from the bottom of its heart's heart and it gets, I don't know what it gets, it gets something this really long watercolor landscape signboard as well as just loads of paper from Copic paper to Copic sketchbooks to comic paper oh I actually forgot to grab the comic Denib paper so I'll have to show that to you guys in a minute to these a couple of like really cute little Muji blank books that I thought would be nice for illustrations to a large textured sketchbook to a small art spiral. I've used them under a different branding here in the States, but it's got a slightly textured paper and loads of washi based edigami paper and watercolor paper. Here's the comic Deneb paper. It's actually available in a variety of types. And unfortunately I don't have the description here. Google Translate gave some almost unintelligible information that I'll copy and paste in the description below. But it is made by Orion. You can find more at www.k-orion.co.jp. And this is comic paper that is supposedly good with alcohol markers. Here I have some manga making supplies, most of it's tone. To be honest, I've never messed around with tone, so I'm kind of excited to do so. I have some tone tools as well, including a tone spatula, a small fine point knife. I do have larger knives that I think will work. This thing, which looks like it's used to kind of burnish down the tone. Some inking nibs, G, and then different types of G. A tone eraser. And then a lot of tone. I'm actually going to be sending some of this to a friend of mine because they love tone and they like to make brushes from it. And they are excited to get to play with some real tone. So I tried to pick up stuff I that looked like look different from what they already had and some shonen or effects kind of stuff as well. As you guys have probably deduced, I love Muji. So I did pick up a few Muji products, mostly ballpoint pens. And what's neat about Muji is not only can you find it in individual stores and in the mall, but most gas, not gas, most convenience stores carry Muji products like these Muji, these are heat eraser pens, like the Frixons are heat eraser pens. Picked up a few of those. Somehow a high tech C got mixed in with that. That is not sold at Muji, but I really like Muji ballpoint pens. I like using them for my schedule and I like using them for sketching. I also picked up a couple of Muji highlighters, including a single handed highlighter, which is always fun, and a double sided highlighter. Finally, in true miscellanea land, I have some beautiful printed postcards, some of which I'm going to put up, some of which I'm going to send out from that amazing little art supply shop I told you guys about, the one in Osaka. I also got three fans for painting from Daiso. I thought those would be fun. Some really cute cat letter stationery, Daruma notepad. Some of these are going to be sent off as gifts. Daruma stickies, kitty cat stickies. I think I got some puppy dog ones as well, but I don't know where they are. Some beautiful chiogami paper, some book flags, and then a load. Oh, here's the sheebs. The sheebs. So cute. 
And then a load of really cute stickers. Some of these are going to be presents as well. And other than some bits and bobs that don't really fit into a haul video, that's my haul from Japan. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. My patrons got to see everything as it was almost as it was purchased, the night it was purchased, and what stores everything came from. So if you're interested in knowing the nuts and bolts of my art supply haul, you can head on over to patreon.com slash natosoup and join the art nerd community. I can't wait to show you guys all the fun things I'm going to do with all of these things. Um, it should definitely be like my review queue for the next two years. So I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing these products in action. I'm Becca Hilburn. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And I hope to see you guys again really soon. Bye, guys.